Um, hi, my name is Maurice again. I think I did not really complete this uh, application of the reflective number plate, the new generation, um, because uh, I hit something which I did not know how to go through it, but I've done enough, enough research and I can be able to take you through. Once you finish logging in to this new portal for NTSA, you can go to vehicle registration and then there is somewhere written reflective number plate. Uh, you then apply for reflective number plate. Click on that. So for someone like me, I had already started applying. so. I believe this is going to tell me that there is an already an a pending application. So what you need to do is just scroll down here. You will see this is obviously your car. If you have many cars, you'll be able to see all of them there. And you can choose whichever you want to apply number plate for. So uh, you'll click next. And then you can see mine is telling me that there is already pending application in progress. Please use the relevant view pending transaction so I'll, I had done up to certain point and I left it so what happens with the NTSA portal once you have done something and you left it somewhere you'll come and continue from that spot you don't you're not going to begin again from so I'll go back to reflective number plate and then I'll choose a, a view pending application I'll click on that I'll say okay. So once you did that, okay. I do have a let's check go back there. Then view painting. Please complete the process by clicking relevant button. Wow. Obviously. Let's just go slowly. There's already pending application, so you say OK. I think that application is going to load. You can actually see it somewhere here. It says pending submission status. So let's see if I click next, it's going to take me to the next. Yeah, now this is where it tells you pending submission. So this is just my car. I'm applying for reflecting number plate. You have there's a there's a stage which I did offline and that is a stage where you choose the front number plate. Uh I think I think that stage is still ahead. Let's just go on. So once you confirm all this information obviously there's nothing to confirm here everything is already on the portal so you just click next now this is the place now where you have to come and choose the type of number plate you want you, are, you have not lost it so you want the new generation number plate so you click new you need notification method you can choose both of them the front number plate, um, do you want a square or ob oblong? Uh, depends on your car now. Mine, I know I changed it from oblong to square, but I think I'll need to go back to that. Then the back number plate, you can choose this, whatever you feel like. This is a, this is just a choice. Whatever you feel like, say square normally that's how cars are fr from the japan they come looking like that with the oblong front and square at the back but you can actually choose square both of them square front but i don't let me just go back to the the traditional then the plate counter collection you can choose where you want to collect it from nairobi authorized person so this is why you have to enter the ID of the authorized person. Uh, you have to search this. 
and you can search that person it will actually automatically fill in the person who is supposed to collect that number plate so it will just automatically fill in then this is where there was a problem here where you have to fill lost the first number plate you choose then and then tap lifting report remember tap lifting lifting report you get it from the dci or the police or police report or dci but now you don't need to do that we you need just to take pictures of the the number plates the front and the back then you put them in a pdf then you put you 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 scan your logbook and then that's what you're going to put in the tap lifting report so you choose you go back and choose let me just find where i've saved my yeah this is the number plates remember these number plates if i open them you'll just see their pictures of number plate nothing much just pictures put in a pdf then you attach that you can click to see whether what you have attached then tap lifting report you choose the logbook you upload you can check what you have uploaded whether it's the right thing yeah i think that's the right thing here so after that uh, error the front and the back number probably must be selected oh i did not select that oblong and the back one square so now you go to next enable to complete task not sure why it's the pdfs bigger than what they expect them yeah so i think i did a refresh i just refreshed the page and it was able to upload it completely now after this is the next step the next step is to pay so you click pay definitely you're going to pay Pro processing payment uh let's see i think it's through mpesa you choose mpesa this is what you've been told you pay 30 50 follow the steps below once you receive successful and place a complete okay go to your safaricom mobile number pay so i guess it's up i'm supposed to receive a request yeah the request has come on my phone where I just have to say under the pin. This is actually a good system. I think the people who built this are they've done a good job. So once you do that, you complete. I believe they'll some of the system will know you have paid. Huh? Well, I guess that, I guess that's all. So you'll get a receipt of your payment. You can download and keep it somewhere. Of what you paid, and that's the three thousand is still a lot of money, you guys. Anyway, Kenyan, they're looking for money. I want a pesa. And that's all you'll probably get a notification when the number plate is ready for collection from the the location that you have stated on the application thank you very much